What is going on guys, it is WrestleMania here, back with another video, where the road to WrestleMania stops in Perth, Australia, and talk about a long winding road as the WWE presents Elimination Chamber. Join us now as we look at all the winners and losers of the PLE. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos, and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Also check out our new videos on WrestleMania Shorts. Now the first match will be the undisputed tag team match as the Judgment Day of Finn Balor and Damian Priest take on New Catch Republic of Pete Dunne and Tyler Bate. Pete Dunne and Tyler Bate are back together and they have a fresh coat of paint and a new name. Not only that, but their recently reunited team earned themselves a championship match for the undisputed tag team championship. Although Dunne and Bate established their credentials as a tag team long ago, before they entered the WWE and also in NXT UK, it was a smart move to book them into a tag team contender series and put them over DIY to show fans unfamiliar with their team just why they're considered a good team. As often happens in wrestling title matches, the new Catch Republic is in the wrong place at the wrong time. Dunne and Bate are the type of team that could shock the world and score a win over Balor and Priest. Unfortunately, WrestleMania is coming soon and the WWE wants the Judgment Day as champions for its biggest show of the year, not a team that's lesser known among the general public. Balor and Priest haven't been booked as dominant champions which opens the door for a surprise title win with the Judgment Day regaining the titles before WrestleMania. That's possible but not probable because WWE doesn't want the Judgment Day to look strong going into WrestleMania and a short title reign by the new Catch Republic is unlikely to help their careers in the long run. While the new Catch Republic will do well in the match and look like future champs, it's just not in the cards for them to win at this point in time, so expect the Judgment Day to get the win and head into Mania with the titles around their waist. The only question here is whether Balor and Priest will get a clean win or resort to the heel playbook for a win. In this case, a tainted victory will help the new Catch Republic look strong in defeat and leave the door open for a rematch down the road. Our final predictions at the Judgment Day retain the undisputed tag team titles. Next up is the Women's Elimination Chamber match as a winner earns a Women's World Championship match at WrestleMania 40 as Becky Lynch, Bianca Belair, Liv Morgan, Tiffany Stratton, Naomi and Raquel Rodriguez all do battle in the chamber. Unlike the Men's Elimination Chamber match, this is an all-star collection of talent. While Tiffany Stratton, now nicknamed the Blockbuster Blonde rather than the NXT nickname the Buff Barbie is the underdog due to her just being called up to the main roster, the WWE seems confident of totally Tiff's future so don't be surprised if she scores one or even two eliminations before losing herself. As for the rest of the competitors, expect to see the WWE develop at least one storyline from what happens during the match. One possibility is Liv Morgan, who seems obsessed with getting revenge on Rhea Ripley for injuring her, and former tag team partner Raquel Rodriguez starting a feud as their desire to get at Ripley leads to one or both of them taking shortcuts to get the win. Another possible feud is Tiffany Stratton vs Bianca Belair. The EST doesn't have anything booked so far heading into WrestleMania. Although Belair vs Jade Cargill's Mania match would be epic, the timing doesn't seem right as Cargill has only worked one match. Stratton vs Belair on the other hand is a match that could put Stratton on the map on the main roster, regardless of whether she wins or loses. It's not a dream match, but it's a great way to elevate Stratton and give Belair a WrestleMania match that doesn't involve a championship, which she won't be getting as Rhea Ripley and Eos Sky's opponents are already decided. Overall, this could be the best match of the night. The WWE's women's division has been crushing it in the PLE matches as seen last month at the Royal Rumble when the women outclassed the men. The outcome is obvious since the WWE has been building for a Becky Lynch vs Rhea Ripley WrestleMania match for the last year. While they could throw a curveball, the WWE has built this match up as Becky's first elimination chamber and that she needs to prove herself by winning. As such, there's only one path for Becky vs Rhea at WrestleMania 40, Becky winning against 5 opponents in one of wrestling's most ferocious matches. Our final prediction, Becky Lynch wins the women's chamber match. Next up, the women's world championship match as champion Rhea Ripley takes on Nia Jax. In some ways, the Elimination Chamber is little more than a placeholder show, with the WWE Universe knowing what many of the top matches will be at WrestleMania and no doubt will emerge victorious in Perth. This match epitomizes this, as there's no chance in hell of Nia Jax walking out with the Women's Championship short of a double cross in the ring. 
Nijax has been built up as a monster heel since her 2023 return for two reasons. One to put over Jade Cargill at the Royal Rumble and to present a formidable opponent for hometown hero Rhea Ripley at Elimination Chamber. While few fans have welcomed Jax back, this is one situation where the WWE is ignoring the fans and booking Jax strongly to achieve the aforementioned goals. Regrettably, the WWE doesn't have much choice because Ripley has already beaten many of the Raw roster's female undercard and several women are tied up in the chamber match. It's hard to think of the Eradicator playing the underdog, but in this case, expect a bit of a role reversal as Rhea Ripley plays the babyface before her hometown fans and at times, the underdog to the much bulkier Jax. This match will provide Rhea Ripley with a chance to play babyface and to test her skills at making a lesser skilled opponent look better than they really are. Ripley will get the win and with any luck, this will end Nia Jax's push on Raw, although the risk of sounding cynical, we doubt Nia is going anywhere now that The Rock is back. The biggest danger in this match is making sure Jax doesn't potato Ripley and knock her out of WrestleMania. But our final prediction, Rhea Ripley retains the Women's Championship. And finally, the Men's Elimination Chamber match, as a winner gets the World Heavyweight Championship match at WrestleMania 40, as Drew McIntyre, Randy Orton, Bobby Lashley, LA Knight, Kevin Owens, and Logan Paul all do battle in the chamber. But this may be the most star-studded Men's Elimination Chamber match in WWE history, as every wrestler competing has a realistic chance of winning the match. Four of the competitors are former world champions, while one is a current US champion. While the winner might seem obvious, the match has a potential for several winners to emerge victorious and throw the WWE Universe a curveball. The WWE has been booking Drew McIntyre strongly, with McIntyre scoring several impressive wins over top names including Cody Rhodes on the 19th February Raw, leading to only Drew McIntyre and Roman Reigns are being the ones to pin Cody Rhodes since his return, and while Drew reportedly still hasn't signed a new deal with the WWE, he seems like the heir apparent to the World Heavyweight Championship and thus the likeliest winner in this match. Nevertheless, LA Knight and Randy Orton could win the match and challenge for the title. What is unknown is if Seth Rollins will work any matches before WrestleMania due to his MCL and meniscus tears. They could take the title off him before WrestleMania in a surprise loss and have a babyface challenge the new champion who could be Damian Priest or Drew McIntyre. If they go down this route, LA Knight and Randy Orton are the two likely winners. Bobby Lashley is another wrestler who could win but he seems tied up with his feud against Karrion Cross and the Final Testament. Likewise, Kevin Owens and Logan Paul could fight a Royal Rumble rematch at WrestleMania over Paul's US title, which lessens the chance of either man winning the chamber. So far, there have been no reports of Seth dropping the world title before Mania, which means Drew McIntyre will win the match and get yet another shot at Seth Rollins for the title. Two wrestlers to keep an eye on in this event are LA Knight and Logan Paul, who have a chance to show why they're main event caliber. Working Elimination Chamber match is often challenging and how both superstars perform could affect just how far the WWE thinks they're capable of going. While Paul's past performances and celebrity have impressed the WWE, he'll have to be careful with how he works as he doesn't want to get injured performing a show-stealing spot. On the other hand, LA Knight will have to work hard to make sure he's not overshadowed by the sheer star power in this match. Our final prediction, Drew McIntyre wins the Men's Elimination Chamber match. One interesting segment will be the Grayson Waller effect, which will have the appearances of both Cody Rhodes and Seth Rollins. Whilst the two aren't wrestling on the show, it'll be a good segment regardless. But what if The Rock and Roman Reigns show up on the show to confirm the WrestleMania tag match on night one? This most certainly will be the biggest talking point about the PLE. What do you guys think? Will it happen? Well, there you have it, folks. All the winners and losers for this year's Chamber PLE. Let us know your predictions in the comments down below, and I'll see you next time with some more wrestling content.